You may know me from my YouTube shorts. I've been posting two to four shorts per day for the last few months. And in that time, I have completed nearly every single daily challenge there is to do. We've done Wordle, we've done Literal, we've done Survival, we've done Flaggle, we've done Global, we've done Worldle, all of them. So I have created for you and me, the daily game gauntlet. I will link this document in the description below and you guys can play along every day yourself and see if you can beat my score. So this is gonna be my first official playthrough of the daily game gauntlet. Here's the rules. We have got 10 daily games here. You have to play through every single one of them you have got. Here's the general rules. No hints. If the game allows hints, you're not allowed to use them. 10 minutes maximum per round. You don't have to use it, but you've got 10 minutes if you want it. The max score you can get is plus two, and we'll explain the scoring in a second. And if you're gonna play along, you gotta use the official links that are in this page here. So we're using the exact same versions of the game. So scoring wise, it's exactly like golf. You start on zero and your goal is to either get par or better on every single game or if you get bogey, basically, you're going plus and minus in your score. So we've got the par for every single game here. Wordle is a par four. So say you get the Wordle in three for round one, then you're already one under. And that's it, that's pretty much it. My goal today is going to be try and get a par score. I've never done this before, but I've tried to think about as much as I can, how to make par challenging, but not impossible. And if you're having a great day, then you might go two or three under and that'd be amazing. I hope it makes sense now. If it doesn't, you're just gonna have to watch and it's all gonna make sense as we play. So I clicked on all these links here and I've got all the tabs here in order, ready to go. So let's kick off with Wordle. Wordle is a par four. So we're gonna try and get it in four or less today. Let's see how we go. I'm gonna kick off today with sport. Okay, we've got an R, got a P. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go for chirp, like what a bird does. Not a word. Wait, is it chirp with an I? Still works, still works. Oh no. What about padre? Is that a word? I don't even think it's English, but. Ooh, okay. Okay, surely we got it here. Okay, this is our par guess right here. So we really wanna be getting this one. We're going for P, P, pear, pearl. Come on. Let's go. So for the first one, we are still on a score of zero. We're level par. On to the next. Okay, so factual is just kind of like trivia. You get the answers down here. In this situation, rank the countries by largest offline population, just, just the largest number of people. Okay, so first to fifth, we should have India. India should be first and then probably China. Yep. And then what have we got? Um, I'm thinking Nigeria, probably, maybe Ethiopia, and maybe Kenya. Oh, Bangladesh could be up there. Maybe we'll go Bangladesh. I'm actually not sure after the first two. I'm pretty confident in the first two. Okay, so Ethiopia is in there. No Kenya or Bangladesh. Okay, so India, China is correct. Uh, then we'll go Ethiopia. And then let's go Nigeria or Brazil. Has Brazil got a big population? We'll put Brazil in there, see how we go. Okay, cool. Okay, okay, okay. So we've got India, China, uh, something, and then we've got Nigeria, Ethiopia. I have no idea. Pakistan, maybe. Maybe Pakistan, let's try it. And they've got Nigeria, Ethiopia, okay. Yes, nice. Let's have a look back here. So factual, four, we're actually one under now. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, on to the next one, connections. So connections, you get one error. So if we get it with zero errors here, we'll go another one under. If we make multiple errors, then we can go up to plus two. Exposure, shutter, these are camera things. Angle, yep. Lens, wait, zoom. Okay, lens, zoom, shutter, exposure. I don't love it, but these are all definitely camera related, but maybe not zoom, maybe angle. Lens, exposure, shutter, angle. Shutter angle is a thing, exposure. I think we have to try this, let's see. No, and I didn't even, oh, I wasn't even one away. Oh gosh, okay. Okay, Slack, Meet, Google Meet, Slack, Zoom. These are all like meeting teams. Come on, that's one, that's gotta be one. Let's go, we need to keep our mistakes. Now we need to have no more mistakes for par here. We need no more mistakes. Uh, okay, perspective. You can see things to another angle, another position, or through another lens. I mean, I like it. Different ways to see something. Point of view, perfect. Okay, that's supposed to be the easy one. Should be fine here, should be fine here. Okay, types fantasy football. Um, okay, press, coverage, exposure, and attention. Bang, it's all like media. Publicity, treasure, love, fantasy, shutter, islands. Let's go. Let's go, we only made one mistake. That means we're staying under par. We're still one under because we only made the one error. All right. On to the next. Okay, let's play Daily World. I don't know what this country is. Very rounded looking. Let's try, let's go Montenegro. Puts us in the middle of uh, Europe, which is kind of usually a good place to start. Okay, so we're southeast of Montenegro. 
which probably puts us somewhere in the northern Africa, maybe. So Worldle, we need to get it in three. This could be bad because I really don't know what this is. And we are officially... Okay, so where could we be here? We could be Sudan, maybe? This should be close, right? Oh, no. Okay, this is the par guess here and we're not even close. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I actually know what this is. It's Tanzania. Let's go. Wait, what? No, I said the wrong place. I said the wrong place. What's it called? It starts with T. Oh, it's Tunisia. Oh, I've literally cost myself a point there for no reason. I literally knew what it was. Oh, we got it in four. That is one over. So now our score goes back to zero again. On to Flaggle. This one I am very nervous about. I am so bad at Flaggle, guys. Ah, oh, all right, let's see how we go. I'm going to kick off today with the Seychelles because they got a beautiful, colorful flag and I'm hoping that the color helps me. Okay. Oh, yes. Absolutely blessed today. Absolutely blessed. Let's go. Oh, guys, I was so nervous about Flaggle, but we've got it in two, which is one under... I cheated. I didn't read my own rules. I forgot. I forgot. Oh no. Okay, so I forgot how this works. So you're supposed to start Flaggle with the answer to Worldle. That's why I put it in that order. The good thing is Tunisia's flag would have been literally one of the best guesses possible. Look at this. Like it would have been, it would have showed me Canada so clearly. So same result. I have cheated. Okay. No doubt. There's officially a little asterisk on this one, okay? There's an asterisk on it, I cheated. I 100% would have got it in two regardless. So we'll play on. We will play on and I will go back to minus one. Let's go. If I can stay anywhere around par for this first go, I will be so happy. All right, we're back to minus one here. Let's play the next game. No way, it's broken. <sighs> well, I guess what? More bad news. Maybe I have to change this. Maybe I have to change this game because it literally is broken today. We're going to replace it with Coscodal. Okay, so Coscodal, we've got a Kirkland signature mac and cheese. I mean, it's got to be cheap, right? Let's go $2.99. More than $2.99. Okay, it must be big. It doesn't have any like um, a weight to it at all. Okay, let's go $5.99. It can't be much more than that, right? Wow, it's a lot more than that. Uh, this is our birdie guess right here. I guess we just go more. Oh, surely not $9.99. We'll try. Still more expensive? That is crazy. Okay, we've got the yellow though, so we are close. I reckon we just go 11.50. We got it with 10.99. Wow, the buffer helped us out big time there. Okay, that's a par. Foodle can be really hard. It like sometimes it's the most niche words ever, and sometimes it's like super simple. Let's start off with bread. Oh wow, great start. Okay, okay. What about beets? Wow, bents. This is our. This is really lucky. This is gonna be our birdie guess right here and I'm really hoping we can get it. Maybe like bets like this. Oh, maybe like belts, like conveyor belts. I don't know. Yes, let's go. Sorry, we parred Coscodal. So we're actually one under and now with the food or we are now two under. Okay, moving on to global. So global is a bit of a tricky one because there's so many countries. Global's par is actually seven and to go to uh, one over, it actually counts in twos. So so nine guesses is plus one, 11 guesses is plus two and vice versa back the other way again. We're gonna kick off with Australia. 13,000 kilometers away, basically can't get any further apart. That's guess number one. Let's go, honestly, how far away can you get? Let's go to France. Okay, super close, 865 kilometers. I am thinking maybe here, maybe we go Morocco. It could be the other direction, but, oh, no way. We crushed it, we crushed it. We got it in three. Okay, wow, I did not expect that. That is actually so hard. So five is birdie. So we actually, so we actually eagled that hole because we got it in three. So we're actually four under heading into number eight, which is lateral. Lateral is 10 to 15. If you don't know, is just wordle, but a single letter only. So there's a little bit of luck involved in this one. But if we get it between 10 and 15, that's par. If we get it between five and nine, I think it is, is birdie. And then before that is eagle, you guys get it. Let's get into it. Let's kick off with J for Jack, okay? Maybe we just write our name. Jack Bing, okay. That's already, that's already eight. So we're basically on track for a par right now. We're really hoping for a par. Let's go L, let's go, let's type in par. P, I've already got it, let's go R, okay. 
T maybe? Oh no, this could be bad. Let's go Q. Oh gosh. Okay, let's get our vowels out of the way. O, U. Okay. Uh, v. Oh no. I think we're out. I think we're into bogey territory here. This could be our first bogey. Oh, Z. Okay, got it in 17. Let's have a quick look here. Okay, so 16 to 20 is bogey. So we just went into the bogey territory. So we're actually going plus one on this, which puts us back to minus three. Going into the mini crossword. Now here's the thing, we finish on the mini crossword and the great thing about it is you only have two options. You win, you go minus one, you lose, you go plus one, and that's it. That's the only two options. Remember, we've only got 10 minutes on the clock. Let's get into the mini crossword and finish this thing out. Okay, man of few words. Man of few words. Mute? Not sure. Uh, absolutely love. I'm going with a door. Bit of headwear with gems on it. Crown, probably? Don't know. Could be like a tiara. Could also work. Your something words when you're addressing a judge. Your something words. Your... Oh, your honor. American edition. Okay. Wow, have we crushed this or what? Roof group? Goop? Tar. <gasps> okay, we haven't quite done it yet. So what is wrong here? Let's have a look. Okay, so what do we got down? A class in which you'll enter, encounter a lot of problems. Oh, this is going to be math. So that's T. Oh, it is Tiara. Is that right? Tiara. Tiara. On a ta. Okay, we're not finished yet. American idiot. Okay, so it's not mute either. But it is M-I. Because this, this has to be math, right? American idiot. Okay, Disney heroine with an upcoming November sequel. Moana. Mime. Guys, we got it in a minute 15. That's awesome. That means we got it. That means we take one under again. We go to minus four, you guys. I feel like there is... Okay, firstly, let's just address the elephant. There is a controversy over this one. We've put Coscodal in. I'm going to switch Coscodal in officially. We've still got the asterisk on this one because of the little world thing, even though it literally makes no difference. There's no way I didn't get Canada second anyway. But officially, following the rules wise, it doesn't count. That being said, let's go. New world record. We are four under, you guys. That is actually crazy. I honestly think I had a really, really good run today. This is my first time ever trying it. There is so many situations where you could blow out so easily. Flaggle can be super hard. Global can be super hard. All it takes is a bad word or a couple more and you are well over par. Guys, I mean, I've set, the, I've set the challenge now for you guys. I've set the challenge. You guys go out. The form is linked down in the description. You guys can play now. Let me know how you go. If you want to do it officially, make sure you record your run. Otherwise, it can't be verified. But either way, just go out and do it and have a good time. It was super fun. I really enjoyed doing this today. And I really hope you guys can get behind it as well because it's a great time. It's a great challenge. It's a hard challenge. It's a great challenge. I don't think I'm going to beat that score for a while, but I'm going to keep working at this and we'll see how we end up. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you so much. Click the subscribe button if you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.